so now we start example 6.1 uh, in this example we will find out the stiffness matrix for a triangular element which is shown in figure this is the triangular element for which you will have to find the uh, stiffness matrix the coordinates are shown for the three nodes these are the three nodes i j and m now e young's modulus value and poison ratio is given and the thickness is one assume the element nodal displacement have been determined and are given as u1 is equal to 0 v1 is 0 0.0025 v2 u2 and v2 are also given u3 is given and v3 so all the displacements of all the three nodes are given now determine the element stress to find the element stress first we need to find out the stiffness matrix then we will use the stiffness matrix and these displacements to find the element stresses so we start this problem and uh, we find out uh, these betas and gammas uh, you have noted this uh, equation before in 6.2.10 and then we will use these values to find B matrix B matrix can be found by using equation 6.2.32 and 6.2.34 so um, I have uh, let you note these two equations as well if you go back and in the previous part of this lecture you will find these two equations we will use these values and these equations to find this B matrix after that uh, A is the area uh, area equation you have already noted the equation for area in the previous part of this lecture and uh, now uh, we can find the B matrix B is the stress strain relationship and uh, uh, we use 6.1.8 equation you have already known the uh, noted down the equation for D then we can find the equation for K uh, K matrix uh, equation for K matrix was 6.2.52 in which uh, we multiply T with area and B matrix transpose and uh, D matrix and then B matrix all three matrices are multiplied to, to get the K matrix so this K matrix is found by multiplying three matrices B transpose D and B matrix and this is uh, the final uh, version of K matrix by after multiplying these three matrices so stress can be calculated by uh, multiplying the strains and displacements and uh, the D equation 
that are used to evaluate stress is equation 6.2.36 for stress you multiply three matrices D D and displacement displacement matrix is given all the displacements are given in the statement B matrix is you have calculated B matrix and D also you have calculated D matrix so multiplying these three matrices will get you the stresses so after solving these multiplying these matrices you will get the answers sigma x sigma y and tau x after this you can find out the principal stresses uh, principal stress sigma 1 and sigma 2 and then we can find the angle of this principal stress which is theta p